Welcome to the sixth and final episode of Learning AI with GitHub Copilot. My name is Gustavo, and I'm a cloud advocate here at Microsoft, and I am here accompanied by Carlota. Thanks, Gustavo. Uh, yes, that's time to wrap up this learning journey. I'm Carlotta, and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft as well, uh, focused on AI and machine learning. Uh, so in this series, we have explored how to set up a development environment for working with GitHub, with uh, Python and GitHub Copilot, and also data science libraries. Uh, also, we have learned the main terminology and the basic concept of machine learning and we have built our first classifier able to predict the species of a penguin starting from its physical characteristics using Python again and scikit-learn. And we have done all of these with the incredible help of GitHub Copilot. Right, and in addition to that, we've also explored a couple of advanced topics such as computer vision, neural networks, and how these are related and implemented. Moreover, Copilot helped us understand how to train and fine tune an existing model and how to actually read the code around it. It, make, it helped us understand it from a third point perspective. So it was pretty, pretty amazing that it all came from a singular notebook. Right, right. And Hopti was useful and you all enjoyed the series. But before saying goodbye, I'd like just to highlight that the code Copilot generates is not perfect, of course, and not always will be the best fits for your solution. Uh, and like any other code, it should be carefully tested, reviewed, and vetted. So as a developer, you're always the pilot and you're always in charge of the quality of, the, of your code um, of the code you produce with or without the help of an AI pair programmer. Well said, Carlota. Let me also add that those technologies are evolving at the speed of light. We recently just heard about the announcement of Copilot X, and which is going to be supporting the developer through the whole development lifecycle, including our conversational experience in a chat view. So definitely stay tuned and keep, keep an eye out because these things keep growing and growing. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to what's next, honestly. Um, and before concluding, I'd also like to remind you that if you want to learn more about GitHub Copilot features and capabilities, you can go to uh, aka.ms slash get dash copilot here and you can um, uh, you can start a free trial. Um, also, you will find here a link to start a free trial, but also just explore all the capabilities of GitHub Copilot and know how to install it in Visual Studio Code. And I think there is also some additional benefits if you're a student or an educator, right, Carlota? Yeah, right, right. So if you're a student or an educator, I encourage you to go on the education.github.com website because here you can find specific benefits for you as a verified student or a very fine teacher. And to verify yourself as a student or a teacher, you just go straight to this website and you will find your path. Awesome. Well, thanks, Carlota, and thanks, everyone, for joining us through this journey. Uh, we sincerely hope that this series of videos has been helpful. And well, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you'll be using Copilot to help you out in the future as well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.